So is Fractal actually going to be bigger than Twitch? Yeah, it's going to be way bigger than Twitch. How's it going? I'm Justin. Justin Khan from Justin.tv. <laughs> What's up, guys? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It's Justin Khan, your favorite founder's favorite founder, back at it again. Today, I am very excited to launch my new project, Fractal. Fractal is a marketplace for gaming NFTs. Players can discover, buy, and sell gaming NFTs, and gaming developers can drop gaming NFTs to their fans. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, and embarrassingly well into college, I played a lot of MMO RPG games, massively multiplayer online role-playing games. Uh, so I started with Ultima Online. Most of you watching this video are probably way too young to remember it, but Ultima Online was like my favorite game. Ultima Online was the original MMO. You were able to run around this fantasy world, fight monsters, fight other players, collect treasure, gold and magical swords and all sorts of stuff. And uh, it was just like a really dynamic and open world that was pretty fun. In that world, because it was so immersive, people poured their heart and soul into their Ultima Online characters. And a lot of the stuff in the world, whether it was gold or items or characters, or eventually even the houses and towers that you could build in this virtual world, became valuable. And people were buying and selling it on eBay. This was back in the 90s. Yes, I am that old. Small side note, while I was starting my first startup in college, I was actually doing it as a part-time job. My full-time job was playing 50 hours a week of World of Warcraft. I did not put that on my resume. The point is, many of these MMOs were well ahead of their time. I think NFTs are a really powerful idea for games. The idea of items being durable beyond a game uh, is a way to create value that your players really own. Nascent blockchain games are discovering that they can drop NFTs as their pre-sale. So you started to see games come out and sell to their fans drops of items that they'll be able to use within the game once the game launches. This is kind of like Kickstarter was for games eight or nine years ago, uh, which was a way to fundraise for your game before it existed. Now, instead of just a copy of the game, early fans are rewarded with special items that they can use inside the game. And that's pretty exciting. That's the future that I want to be part of. And I haven't worked on anything in gaming since Twitch, but I was so excited by the idea of NFT games that I wanted to jump back in. So today we're excited to announce Fractal, our NFT gaming marketplace. What's Fractal? Fractal is a way for players to discover, buy, and sell gaming NFTs. It's also a way for developers to drop their NFTs to players out there in the world. Here's why I think NFTs are the next big thing in gaming. What I love about NFTs in gaming specifically is the idea that you can make the content within your game live well beyond the lifespan of your game. People aren't gonna play your game forever, but if you build a universe of NFTs, whether they're magic swords or Ferraris that you're driving around in a racing game or characters, what you're doing by putting them on a blockchain is making them programmable by other people. So other developers can build experiences that interact with these NFTs. You could imagine simple experiences like a lending marketplace. If you can't afford the most powerful magic sword for your quest, you could rent it from someone else. Kind of like you might rent a Bugatti on your birthday. I've never done that. You could also imagine a gaming developer building a new game on top of an existing game's NFTs. A game developer might do that because it's a great way to get users. And for the existing game, it's a way that the benefit to the players uh, for using and collecting those NFTs is extended. Effectively, by making an NFT game, you're making your game a programmable platform. This is how I think the metaverse gets started. You know, there's two things that are required for the metaverse. One is identity and communication. I think we're seeing that on happen on Discord and Twitter. And the, the other is commerce. The idea that there's digital assets that have durable value. It's been awesome to see the explosion of art and PFPs across the internet. Uh, but I think gaming assets are even bigger. Imagine what you can do when these in-game items are actually programmable and extensible. We're just scratching the surface, but I think that every game in the future is gonna launch with some sort of blockchain component and programmable NFTs. And I can't wait to see that become a reality. If you're watching this right now and you go to fractal.is and buy a drop, you're gonna be one of the very first users of Fractal. You can also sign up at our Discord uh, to find out more about what we're doing and join the community. We're super excited to announce a bunch of launch partnerships today. I'm recording this at the last minute. We've lined up an amazing group of games uh, that we're really excited about. 
We've got Sandbox. The Sandbox is a decentralized, community-driven gaming ecosystem made by players. Creators can build, own, and monetize their virtual experiences using the Sandbox's free software, such as Vox Edit and the Game Maker, uh, on top of its utility token, Sand. We've got Soul Chicks. Soul Chicks is the fastest growing and largest play to earn multiplayer role playing game with an over 700,000 community. It's built around these very cute Soul Chick NFT collectibles, and players use their chicks as characters in a very unique gaming metaverse. We've got Sin City, uh, the first ever mafia metaverse. Uh, Sin City introduces a unique governance system called Mafia as a DAO, uh, which allows players to join and create their own syndicates. Players take part in daily events, including PvP, PvE, and syndicate-based contests like cross-chain tournaments. Uh, we've got Aurori. Aurori is a fantasy, action, play-to-earn Japanese role-playing game. Players are invited to explore a rich and diverse universe, traveling across the worlds of Antic and Kryptos, catching and trading magical creatures called Nefties. Nefty trainers from around the world take part in friendly duels, ranked tournaments, and other game modes in this compelling uh, JRPG. We've got Genopets. Genopets is the first uh, move-to-earn MMO that rewards you for an active lifestyle. A Genopet is a generative N NFT that evolves as a player exercises more. The game transforms players' real-life movements into uh, tokens to use in battle, craft valuable items, and uh, upgrade Genopets' style and performance. We've got Nan Heroes. Nan Heroes is an NFT battle royale shooter uh, featuring extremely cute cats piloting giant deadly robots. Gotta love that combo of giant robots and, and cats. By collecting Nyans and their accompanying robots, players uh, battle against each other one-on-one -on -one to fight and earn. At the same time, they'll be saving kitties one Nyan at a time through partnerships with various animal charities. We've got Mini Royale. Minu Royale Nations is a browser-based first-person shooter game. It's set on top of a land control-oriented social strategy game with a focus on clans, alliances, and interaction mechanics. It's open economy rewards collaboration and community efforts where players come together to build the most fun and social experience in the metaverse. We've got Cave World. The Crypto Cavemen Club is an exclusive NFT community based around the uh, cave game token. The cavemen have been thawing out in the Arctic due to the warming climate and were just discovered in time for the Solana summer. In this metaverse, they battle in a PvP arena filled with spoils, allowing for crafting, chess boxes, and real estate purchases. Panzer Dogs. Panzer Dogs is an online PvP tank brawler with play-to-earn mechanics made by Lucky Cat. Craft and build your custom tanks to battle against each other in a variety of exciting game modes. You can play the public demo now. Then we're dropping a unique Panzer Dog fractal collection with 555 unique Panzer NFTs. And Portals. Portals is a web-based metaverse platform. It's building a thriving downtown where there's a single city block with hundreds of fun things to do and discover. It's everyone's metaverse space on Solana where you're invited to hang out with friends, chat, build, and show off your NFTs right from your browser. Boom, that's the video. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, comment what you think of the site below. I'm gonna read every comment. We want user feedback. This is a very early project working on with a few friends and I'm super excited to bring it to you. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> okay, all right.